Today we're up on um, Bleaklow Moor. Uh, the land we're stood on is the National Trust land, and the area, the particular area we're in, is uh, Herncliffe. The areas that we're, we're on um, have suffered hugely um, over the past sort of 100 years uh, through industrial pollution, wildfire um, and overgrazing. And um, throughout the course of this time, the, the erosion um, has stripped away the existing vegetation. Um, the pollution has caused uh, deep levels of acidity in the soil that means any regrowth um, really struggles. And because of the bare peat that's down there, any seed gets washed away. And so we, 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 there's no seed source uh, within these bare peat areas to allow natural regeneration of uh, these moorland species. And so as part of the, the restoration work that Moors for the Future do, we come in and stabilise the bare peat. Now during um, wildfires, fire that burns right down into the peat. You know, peat is a, a flammable material and so the, the seed source within the peat has been burnt out. So there's no, no, no chance of um, any seeds naturally recolonising. So we bring in the plug plants that offer a chance for the species to establish and that will then provide its own seed source to allow the wider establishment of the plants. I'm Carolyn, I work for Most of the Future. I'm one of the conservation works officers and I supervise contractors who come out and do the plug planting. Uh, we usually do it before March the 31st, 31st because of the ground nesting season for birds. These are common cotton grass and these are planted on the sides and on the bottoms of the gullies to stop the water flow off the gullies. These are hare's tail, these are planted also on the sides and also on the peat pans on the tops in the wettest places. These are crossleaf heath and these are planted mainly anywhere across the tops of the peaks and sometimes on the slopes. These are bilberries and the bilberries are also planted on the tops. This is crowberry. Crowberry is planted on the tops again and on the hags. And the last one is cloudberry and cloudberry are planted right on the tops of the slopes because they're quite a delicate, rooty plant. And this all adds to the diversity of the areas that we're planting all the plug plants in. Um, we have a dibber that we use. The dibber is pushed in to 20 centimetres. The plants are pushed in by hand and they are towed in at the edges to stop them popping out. 